So now that we've learned about photosynthesis from the Keywords Biology app, how can we take our understanding of photosynthesis and apply it to improve our communities? Well, this is my community, High Town in Luton. And when we look back at Luton's past, we can see it's had a very illustrious history. So for example, from the 17th to the 19th century, the hat industry in Luton dominated the British hat industry. The hat industry was also famous all around the world. Luton has also had a very successful car industry. So in 1905, Vauxhall came to Luton, brought with it a lot of innovation, and this in turn created employment for the local community. Okay, let's go and take a look at High Town. Luton is an example of a post-industrial city struggling to find an identity in the 21st century. Unemployment is high and life opportunities for many are limited. In addition, there's a shortage of innovative models that could possibly show us how we could move forward. On the other hand, Luton Airport provides the city with a gateway to the world, but the pollution generated by the city is another challenge that we have to deal with. Is it possible to actually learn from other models that have been created by others and maybe adapt them to our own context? Paris 2050 by the architect Vincent Calibou could be one possibility. So what is Paris 2050? Well, Paris is committed to reducing greenhouse gases by 75% by 2050. And in order to achieve that target, Calibou suggests that we need to radically rethink the role architecture will play in our communities. Now what's even more exciting about this is that Calibou places photosynthesis at the very epicentre of this vision. Now if we go back to the Keyboards Biology app, we can remember that photosynthesis is a process in which green plants trap energy from the sun to make food. And in the process of photosynthesis, plants release oxygen into the atmosphere. So how do we take this learning and our understanding of photosynthesis and apply it to the community? More importantly, what's the question we need to ask in order to realise this? So the question for me is, what is High Town 2050? What vision do we have for our own communities? And how can plants and the process of photosynthesis help us to improve? It's so green and clean and it smells beautiful. You can even hear the birds. Luton 2050 is where I want to live. If you're interested in exploring how photosynthesis can help your community by 2050, just click on the link below to find out more.